Hello everyone and welcome back. It's time to head for the river and see if we can catch us some mud bugs. This is my first time setting traps this year, 2019. I'm gonna go out to that same spot by the river. I don't even know what the water's gonna be like there at all. It was a cold spring here, but uh, things have been warm lately. Definitely should get something in the traps. I'm planning on keeping the traps in there if, you know, somebody else isn't in there right now for two days. I'll check them tomorrow afternoon and then I'll come in the following day and pull them in the afternoon and we'll see how many we get. If I get enough, I'm going to bring them up with me to the farmhouse and Melissa and I are going to do a boil this Saturday. I'm planning on setting four traps if I can find room for them this time. Like I said, I haven't been down to see what the river looks like at all this year. Well, that water is definitely high and moving fast. Well, we're definitely going to put one right here where we usually do. I usually do pretty good. But we got some nice calm water there and the moving water out there looks perfect. I think we'll go all the way down here first. I'd say that the water is high enough where I can set one in there too. I've set them there before. I don't do real well, but uh, I do catch some. Wow, I've only been here, I don't know if I've been here when the water was this high. I mean, it's been this high, but um, it's really moving through here fast, so it's been a while. That tree looks like it's freshly been pushed over. Water is moving way too fast in here to set any traps. Oh, I think I'll set one right here. Sometimes I have good luck here. I can get it just inside of that moving water, right in here. As I was tying off my string, there was a little crayfish down there swimming around, so I know they're in here. Two down, two to go. This all looks different in here too with the high water. I think this tree is definitely falling down, but you can see how fast it's moving out there. And here it's kind of moving at a back current. If I can get it right in that spot right there where it's just kind of staying in one place, I might have good luck. We'll see what happens with that one. That water might be moving too fast. What I like to do is throw the trap in the water 
and if the trap gets pulled down with the current, it's moving too fast and you have to change it to a different spot. I can't tell if it's because it's moving backwards this way, if it's just the rope that's uh, getting pulled or the trap, so we're gonna leave it there anyway. Because when they are here in this spot, they're usually pretty decent size. See you back here tomorrow afternoon. Well, it's the next day. I just got home from work. I had to bring the trailer down to work, so I just dropped that off. Let's hop in the truck, head to the river, and see how we did. It's 85 degrees this afternoon. It's not quite as humid as it was yesterday. Uh, but there's no rain showers like there was yesterday either. I'm going to get all covered in bug spray and then we'll head down to the river. Let's head down to that far one first. Oh, look at that. <laughs> wow. I would say we're off to a really good start. Well, this second trap here, um, normally in the past, I do not do super well right here, but uh, who knows? It's always exciting to find out. Well, you know, not bad. Not as good as the other one, but there's at least 50 or more in there. Well, this next trap generally is one that we do super good with, so even though it's only not even a hundred feet from that last one. Look at that, huh? Wow. One more trap to go. The water either went down some or came up some because now the current flowing backwards through here is quite a bit stronger than it was yesterday. I don't know if you can see that, but it's pulled my line completely tight. So I don't know what we'll have in this one. Oh, not bad. Wow, I just can't do any wrong in these traps this time.
Well, that for sure is the best we've ever done here. I mean, all four traps had decent amounts in them. Some of those are nice size. We'll let these soak one more day. I'll come up and pick up the next batch, and then they're all going up to the farmhouse and do a crawfish boil on Saturday. I'm guessing there's 15 to maybe 18 pounds in there. There's at least 15 pounds worth in there, so. That ice just forces right in there. It's not sitting on them yet. By the time it melts down, it will. I actually had to look up how to try to keep these for a couple days. I mean, I've done it before for three days, but I lose some. Uh, the most important part is to keep the drain open, tilt it back so that the water leaks out, and then 36 to like 42 degrees, put the ice on top of them, they said. So that's a lot of ice. It should stay plenty cold in there. I'll see you guys tomorrow when we go back out to the river. Well, it's early the next afternoon. I'm heading out to the river right now. We'll see what we had in the traps. I'm gonna pull the traps. And then uh, later this afternoon, I'm gonna head up to the farmhouse. Well, I got that trap pulled. We'll go off to the next one. This one gave us the least amount yesterday. Yep, only a few in there today. Maybe 15. It is so humid out today that you sweat just standing still doing nothing. <laughs> I didn't put any bug spray when I come down here and luckily they're not all that bad right now. That's quite a few in that one. Wow, one on the outside trying to get in. One trap to go. I definitely, yesterday I had enough for a decent boil for Melissa and I, and now I'm gonna have just a nice size one. See what that last trap has in it.
Man, that's not bad for how fast that current is. There's got to be 30 of them in there at least. Now I got just about almost a half a bucket here and feeling it, it feels like probably around eight pounds or so. I don't know, somewhere around there. Lots of mud bugs. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Let's go back to the house and get these bagged up through into the cooler. And then it's time for me to head north for tomorrow's crawfish boil. This wasn't bad. I had deer liver for bait, chicken liver for bait, some old pieces of fish in there. These things were just hungry. I bet you I got at least 10 pounds. They're probably about 10 pounds. you guys want to watch the crayfish or the crawfish boil I'll be doing that up at the farmhouse so that'll be over on the northern seclusion channel and that's gonna to happen tomorrow I'll see you guys on the next video I'm definitely gonna go mud bugging again